You know, I've been holding on to this for a very long time now. It's my Hyundai Equus shaving kit. Well, you remember the Equus, right? It was the G90 before Genesis left for greener pastures. And as it says right here, it's time to rethink everything you know about a luxury car all over again. But this time, the price point isn't as impressively low. This all new range topping G90 with its electrified powertrain and impressive roster of executive sedan features now breaches the $100,000 mark, which is of course eye opening, yet relatively bargain priced when pitted head to head with the big German sedans. And the Genesis brand has a lot of mojo right now as it's truly coming into its own. The modern styling is on point, the plush drive is commensurate with its market placement, and the occupants are treated to a first-class experience, particularly for those in the spa-like rear seats. So indeed, the G90 possesses that big baller brand of luxury car motoring that has long since been the domain of stalwarts such as the Mercedes S-Class. But perhaps more akin to the Lexus LS, the Genesis approach to this lofty level of large car is to undercut the price of the segment leaders by focusing on comfort and a little less so on technology. So let's go over some of the more exciting and unusual features of the G90, beginning with these power doors. Now, as you can see, as I approached with the key fob, the flush door handles popped open here, but they are heavy. And then once you get in, there are a multitude of ways to get the door to close other than simply just pulling it. The easiest one is right here on the center console, but there's also a button here right on the door, one down here for emergency purposes, or if the driver places his foot firmly on the brake, the door will also close. And then to get them to close, just press this button here and the work is done for you. One more time for lock. You can use your smartwatch or smartphone to replace the key fob, even sharing a key with someone else. And yes, it now works with both Apple and Android devices. There's a mood curator that holistically transforms the cabin through lighting, fragrances, massage, and more. There's a chauffeur drive mode that optimizes comfort for rear seat passengers. The remote parking assistant allows you to maneuver the car from outside when there's not enough room to comfortably fit. And the seats even automatically remove air from the side bolsters for easier boarding and exiting. The best part of the G90 just might be these rear seats. They are spectacular. And these power doors operate in the same manner as those up front. So just press a button and they will close for you. Now these seats are fully power operated. The controls for them are located right here on the side of this fold down armrest including the headrests, which have these very nice pillows on them for your head. And then over here, you've got multiple memory settings for the seats. You've got a rest mode with full recline right here. You've got massage, just like those seats up front with multiple settings and programs. And then you've got sunshades, power sunshades on both of the side windows, the rear window. There's a shade up here. There's also lighted vanity mirrors. And then over here, you have the touchscreen controls for all kinds of functions in the car. And you've got a wireless device charger in the back. That's a nice touch. And then in this box here, there's an ultraviolet cleaner for your stuff. So throw whatever it is in there and it will kill the germs. The one slight oddity is that the power ottoman is only located on that side, not this one. And there's something else unusual just like this up front. Now we have seen speakers built into or at least around the headrests before, and that is happening here in the G90, but the funny thing is it's only here on the driver's side. So it creates this wonderful surround sound effect through this absolutely amazing Bang & Olufsen sound system. I mean, this is one of the best that I have ever experienced. I'm hearing nuances and little details of my music that I have never heard before. It's only unfortunate though that it's not on both sides. The passenger does not get it. But what you do get through this one speaker over here are all the things that are designed to be heard only by the driver. For instance, navigation commands. The cabin looks beautiful and feels rich, but having just come off of a week in the new BMW 7 Series, the G90 can't match it on the tech front. 
Now, yes, there are lots of features here and some ambient lighting, but the Germans are all glitz and glam, very screen forward and much more invested in the light shows. So in that regard, the G90 plays it a little old school. And then there's this nagging problem. Now, how is it that in the year 2023, where every other manufacturer, even like the low level ones that, that sell like $25,000 cars, have a wireless phone projection system and this group still can't figure it out, that's totally inexcusable at $100,000. Shoppers have the choice between the standard twin turbo 375 horsepower V6 and this mild hybrid version of the same engine generating 409 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. Both come standard with all-wheel drive and an 8-speed transmission, but this one adds key components, such as the air suspension and rear-wheel steering. But don't just assume because it's assisted by a battery-fed electric motor that it gets the best gas mileage. It doesn't. This one nets 20 mpg as opposed to 21 mpg for the standard engine and has a reduced driving range of 386 miles. It also suffers from a much smaller trunk to make room for the battery. But if you want most of those aforementioned creature comforts, it's this E supercharger model or nothing. The G90 has that big six-figure Mercedes drive to it for sure. It's really a remarkable car from behind the wheel with this air suspension handling anything you could possibly throw at it. It's a beautiful ride. But part of me kind of misses that old 5.0 V8 in the Equus. Not that this powertrain isn't sufficient, it certainly is. But I wish there was maybe just a little more oomph here. I might be getting a tad greedy. But if there's one area where I can ding the G90's drive, might be in the throttle response, particularly in city stop and go type driving where it can be a little abrupt and a little herky-jerky as you're constantly on and off the brake and the accelerator. You really can't have that in a $100,000 car. Otherwise, this cabin is whisper quiet and supremely comfortable. There's no true hands-free driving here either, such as with Cadillac Super Cruise. But this G90, with an MSRP of $100,400, is positioned as the nonconformist choice. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.